previous research on neonicotinoids and pollinators has been at the small scale. And what we're hoping to do with this experiment is look at the real world, large scale exposure of pollinators to neonicotinoids. Recent studies have shown negative impacts of neonicotinoids on pollinating insects and on the basis of the, this evidence the European Commission have banned the use of neonicotinoid seed treatments on mass flowering crops across the European community. Centre for Ecology and Hydrology were selected to undertake this trial by industry because we're an independent research organisation. We're part of the Natural Environmental Research Council and we have a long track record of undertaking large-scale, long-term monitoring in agricultural systems for government agencies, industry and other organisations. Neonicotinoids are a group of chemicals which are designed to kill insect pests. Um, the neonicotinoids that we're interested in are coated onto the seed of the crop and when the crop grows the chemical is taken up by the growing plant and expressed through the leaves and tissues and as insect pests eat the plant then they're dosed with that pesticide. The concern around neonicotinoids though um, resides around the fact that as well as expressing in the tissue it is also expressed in the nectar and pollen in the flowers and this potentially exposes the pollinating insect to that pesticide as well. This is a large-scale experiment undertaken in three European countries, the UK, Hungary and Germany. It comprises 36 sites across these countries. Each site is large-scale, it's between 40 and 50 hectares in size. The experimental treatments are either one of two commercial neonicotinoid seed treatments applied to the rape, and we compare these with an untreated control crop. All the other agronomic inputs to the crops are kept the same and we have um, sufficient numbers of replicates um, in this experiment to have some good degree of confidence in our findings whether they be on wild bees or honeybees. We're measuring the effects of neonicotinoids on key population measures of honeybees, bumblebees and solitary bees. These are things like the size of the, the honeybee or bumblebee colony, the number of workers it has, also things like the numbers of males or queens that are produced at the end of the season. We're also measuring things like the, the residues um, of neonicotinoids we're finding in pollen and nectar collected by bees from the crop flowers. We're also uh, taking a series of measures um, up from the crop in terms of things like crop yield and the inputs that are going into the crop. We need some time to undertake the large number of chemical residue analyses and we also have to measure the overwinter survival of the honeybees through the winter of 2015-2016. The data that we collect for this project will be made publicly available at the end of the project.